I swear, y'all, I don't be trying to rhyme. It just, <laughs> that's just the way it works out. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I'm going to give everybody about a minute or so. Everybody, like, this is droves yeah. and droves of people. All two of us. Yeah, trying to get on there. So anyway, um, as we wait, I want to say hello to hey, Tori. Uh, mm-hmm. the podcast. Uh, I want to say hello to those on YouTube. Hello to uh, my Facebook audience and Donovan's Facebook audience. And speaking of Donovan, I have sitting here with me, Donovan throwing rocks and hiding his hands to Deke. It says that I am trying to reconnect. Let's see why. You yeah. probably forgot to turn your oh, thing off. Oh, you know off. what? I, I, I do have my Wi-Fi. I, I thought I did turn it off. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm coming back, y'all. Bear with me. Bear with me. Aha! There I am. Okay, so I'm back. Yeah, I, I thought I turned it off. But anyway... So, yes, I have Donovan here with me. Hopefully, he's not going to start too much trouble. No, 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 not at all. Okay. I will just sit here. <laughs> all right. And so, um, I see that some people are starting to join. And so, as you guys can see the topic, today we are going to be discussing everything old is new again. And feel White free to White supremacy in. of yesterday and today. When are we going to learn? Hey, Sydney, what's happening? And... I'll go ahead and get a jump on it before somebody mentions it. As you guys can see, I have alleviated my head of about <laughs> <laughs> of about six inches of hair. Uh, I think it's when you get, I, you know, for the longest, I never really understood why women, when they get older, why they cut their hair off. Maybe mm-hmm. it's just me. But, you know, when you get older, there's a lot of maintenance and it's hot. You be yes. sweating. And so... I cut my hair off. It'll grow back. No, if I wanted to. No, no, but, but it looks good. I mean, so, you know, because not everybody can rock short hair and rock it successfully. So, Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I, I, I heard y'all talking about Florida Evans. A lot yeah, yeah Florida Evans. Yeah, she's a very sexy woman. Go ahead and get me a Florida Evans yes, going. Yes, so let, very... Let's see if we can make this a trend, the Florida Evans. Yes, and look, Al should be real appreciative. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I hate to uh, belabor the point. And so anyway, again, the topic today is everything old is new again. White supremacy of yesterday and today. When are we going to learn? That is the question. OK, so I've done a little bit of research and I want to go ahead and read um, what I have. And I will address you guys' comments and Donovan is going to address his um, audience's comments as they come in. Uh, and then Sydney says, keep telling you, y'all in New Jersey is racist as F. Well, I mean, that's, <laughs> it's racist as F everywhere. Everywhere. But anyway, let me get started. All right. So back in the day, black folks were the victims of black codes and Jim Crow laws. Uh, Southern states tried to end black voting by intimidation, trickery, and by enacting separate but equal policies. Now, one of the black codes that were passed by Southern states after the Civil War were vagrancy laws with the intent to hinder the freedom of black people. Now, black folks who are unemployed, homeless, standing around in public or loitering, um, walking down the street, looking suspicious, uh, suspected at, of looking at white women, um, were among things that um, got those people targeted, those people being black people. Now, again, we're talking about Jim Crow era after slavery and all of that, okay? Now, such infractions led to them being arrested, fined, and or sentenced to prison or labor camps. Eventually, many of them were acquired by white businesses through the convict leasing program. Yes. Okay, now in a nutshell, it was legalized slavery and a way to keep black people inferior and in a constant state of struggle and fear. Now, moving along to modern times, well, today, 2018, okay. So in the last week or so, we saw and heard about black people being racially profiled and arrested due to being, I guess, vagrants is what they're accused of, Mm -hmm. you know, just kind of hanging out. Right. Um, Okay. And so Starbucks, L.A. Fitness and many other non-black establishments have gotten caught through um, treating black folks badly. Now, in the most recent cases, the black uh, people who were targeted were not doing anything that white people weren't doing. And as a. Starbucks video, we've even uh, heard some of the white, hey, Clinton, some of the um, white people saying, hey, well, we do this all the time. They, what are they doing? They weren't doing anything we right. we're not doing. They're just sitting there. And- right. Okay. And then so, um, okay. So we still live in a time where a white woman can scream and holler at the sight of a black boy standing on her porch and where he could potentially be murdered for doing absolutely nothing. 
We still live in a time right here in 2018 where a black man um, will be targeted by the police for simply walking down the street. We still live in a time where black people are victims of voter intimidation. Are we not? It still goes on. Now, honestly, nothing has changed except the amount of money we give systematic and institutional racism. Now, in addition, there are quite a few other things that are fueling good old racism. And I'm going to get to you guys' comments as soon as I'm done in just a second. Now, one of those things are white supremacy. It, um, white supremacy is the be- uh, belief that white people are superior to those um, or to those or all other races, especially the black races, and should therefore dominate society. So, so white supremacy says, hey, we the bomb, we the stuff, you're not, and put up with it. For, for lack of better words. All right. So the other thing is white privilege. And that is the collection um, of beliefs that white people receive um, in a racially structured society in which they are at the top of a racial hierarchy. The term was created in 1988 by Peggy McIntosh, an American activist. Basically, whiteness is normal and right and everything else is not. Now, some of the beliefs and behaviors of those of white supremacy and white privilege um, exhibited are as follows. Blacks are inferior, powerless against white people, undeserving. They, um, they live in fear of blacks. They promote lies about black people, especially black men. They assert that white women are most coveted by black men. Promote, uh, and back in this, and some of this is today and yesterday, mm-hmm. uh, they promoted lynching of black men to protect white women. Uh, they pumped and pump fear into black people by intimidation and murder. They also believe that rich, smart, and fearless black folks are a threat to the overall white establishment. Black folks are and were uh, savage and need to be subjugated and controlled by white. So these are some of the beliefs and some of the things that they believe in. And some would even argue, well, nothing has really changed as far as that is concerned. All right. And so moving along, speaking of rich and smart black people, the following quote was made by Walter Francis White, who served as the chief secretary of the NAACP in the early 1900s. Now, he says uh, now this was regarding the race, um, Atlanta race riots of 1906. Um, him and his dad uh, were going home while the riots were going on. And so I'll go ahead and read this quote. He says, in that instance, it opened up in me a great awareness. Awareness. I knew then who I was. I was a Negro. I was a person to be hunted hanged, abused, discriminated against, um, kept in poverty and ignorance and made no difference how intelligent or talented that my millions of brothers and I were. 